Our third student speaker is Denise LaFontaine, who completed a sociology biology interdepartmental major. Please help me welcome Denisha. On Amid Students Day, a lovely mother from Vermont stopped me and asked what I love most about Union. I was prepared to give a cliche response about how beautiful the campus is and how perfect the knot looks at sunset. But today I had time and I wanted to give a real, genuine answer. It took me a minute to respond as four years of memories flashed through my head. And then it hit me. What really made me fall in love with Union? It was the faculty and staff that I've met throughout my Union journey that has made me into the resilient, confident, black woman I am today. I'm going to be completely honest, I was scared coming to Union. I was scared that I was not smart enough, that I did not belong here, and nor could I ever fit in. Even though I loved my STEM classes in high school, I made sure I was at least six feet away from any STEM courses during my first two terms here at Union, only because I was scared of failing. I did not know it at the time, but I was experiencing imposter syndrome. For those of you who are not familiar with this term, it is a phenomenon where individuals doubt their ability, abilities and feel like a fraud even when they have achieved great success. As you all are probably well aware, Union has this thing where they love making students become comfortable being uncomfortable. They knew what they were doing when they made STEM courses part of their gen ed requirements. It was all part of their elaborate scheme. To get the science with a lab requirement out of the way, I decided to take an introductory biology course during the spring term of my freshman year, or rather, the infamous term where we were set home and had to adjust to a new form of learning. I was nervous attending my first STEM class virtually, but as soon as I met Professor Corbin, I knew I was in good hands. Professor Corbin was an excellent teacher as he was warm, passionate, and welcoming. He challenged us to engage with the material critically and in a meaningful way. Honestly, Professor Corbin did more than just teach me about biodiversity and evolution. He believed in me. When I thought I was not smart enough to succeed in biology, he said to me, and I quote, you didn't just get an A in my class, you had the highest score in the whole class. You can achieve whatever you want, honestly. Safe to say, I not only survived Bio 103, but I'm graduating with magna cum laude honors as an interdepartmental sociology and biology major. <laughs> During our time here together at Union, we have all experienced moments of challenge and triumph. We have all had to navigate the ups and downs of academic and personal life, and have had to overcome obstacles that we never thought we could. However, we did not do it alone. Throughout our time here, we have been supported by a strong sense of community. We have formed lifelong connections with our classmates, professors, and staff who have encouraged and guided us to where we are today. We have found a community that has embraced our diversity and welcomed us with open arms and pushed us to be the best versions of ourselves. So, although I fully realized my potential for academic success at Union, one question still lingered in my head. Do I belong here? So, here's the thing I learned about belonging. It isn't about fitting in a particular mold or box, rather, it's about finding a place where you can be your authentic self, where your unique talents and perspectives are celebrated and valued. And I found that place here. From the work-study staff that became family, to the teammates that turn into lifelong friends, I have found a home in Union. And yet, it's not just these individuals who have made a difference in our college experiences. It's the entire union community that has shaped us into the adults we are today. The friends who have laughed and cried with us, the alums who shared their support and wisdom, the staff who worked behind the scenes to keep our campus running smoothly, the professors who believed in us as Professor Corbin did in me, and the countless others who have contributed to our success in ways both big and small. It is through the collective efforts of this community that we have found a sense of belonging and the confidence to take on the challenges that lie ahead. So as I stand here today, I want to remind you all that we can achieve anything we want. To all the graduates who may be struggling with imposter syndrome, you are not alone. You are here because you earned it. You're capable, you're intelligent, and you're exactly where you're supposed to be. 
UNIN has taught us how to be resilient and adopt adaptable. We have learned how to persevere in the face of adversity and how to bounce back from failure and disappointment. I believe in you. So now, as we enter the real world, let's carry with us the valuable lessons and experiences we have gained here, as these past four years at Union have, build the, have been the building blocks for our future success. I'm excited to see all the incredible things we will achieve in the years to come. This is just the beginning of our journey. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs>